guys, my name is Jenny and welcome to my channel. It is 2021 and I'm going to do my first subscription box unboxing. Unboxing? Really? That's the way this year has been so far. It really has. But I got a cute sweatshirt for Christmas. Isn't it cute? Oh, I just love it. Yeah, I show my cute sweatshirts and stuff I get to everybody on here. Let me back up. I'm too close. I'm too close for all this. Yeah, so a little introduction really quick. Um, this year is going to be a little different and I'm going to do a video about all that. But this is a start to a little bit different because you're not always going to see me in a full face of makeup. This is not a full face. This is just something I'm trying. I'm just, I just threw on some eyeliner and some mascara. I'm trying two different mascaras out today. This one I got in my Love Goodly. This one I got from like QVC or Home Shopping, Home Shopping Network. I'm trying them both out. Hate this one. Just saying. Do not like it at all. I do not like it. I'm just going to tell you up front before I get to, because we're talking about subscription boxes, right? Because I'm going to do my Chase and Unicorns. So I might as well tell you about this one. I got this in my Love Goodly. It's called EVO Beauty. And you can, it's really messy. It's the first time I've ever used it. This shows you how messy it is. This right here. Hate it. Straight up. Hate it. Um, this is the wand. Which I thought that I would like the wand. Because it has like a little bit of a curl nature to it. See that right there? It's clumpy. Look at, the, look, at, look at this already. I just used it today guys. Look at this. See how clumpy it is on there? I don't want to show you this eye. Alright. I tried several co coats. No matter how many coats I put on it still looks like crap. So look at it. Do you see it? Can you see? Is it coming in? Is it blurry? I can't tell with the glass on. But it's really clumpy. Even with several coats. It didn't do crap for my eyes. Did the same thing on both eyes. Let me as well just keep you in so we can talk about it. Did the same thing on both eyes. I used this curler here. Which is a heated curler. It's, you know, plastic. So there was no, it doesn't tug on your eyelashes because when I lost my lashes with chemo, it took three years to come back. I don't use anything that's going to tug on my lashes. I even have one of those um, heated ones that you don't curl your lashes in. It does okay. And I probably should have tried that after. Um, and of course, the more mascara you use, the more it's going to weigh your lashes down. But it, it didn't do anything, like at all. I even used one of these to pull, and you can see the clump. You can see all the stuff on there, right? No matter what I did, it did not separate. The lashes kept clumping. I used my metal comb. Still kept clumping. This side over here, and it's not supposed to do that. This side over here, I used my Lash Idol from Lancome. Amazing wand. I love this wand. It's different. Um, I don't know if you can see. Maybe I'm in a little too close. Um, it's got a really different type of brush on it. Like the bristles are really interesting. I don't know if you can see the way that it... It's just really cool looking. I love the, br the brush on this thing. Um, it's supposedly supposed to curl your lashes. It doesn't. Um, I don't know if it's just me because I even use a lash curler. I don't know if it's just me because I have really weird lashes since getting them back in. My lashes used to curl really easy and now they just don't anymore. So I don't know whether it's just me and I'm blurry. Um, I don't know if it's just me or not, but they didn't curl. It says that you can put multiple coats on and you're not going to get clumps. That you can put four or five coats on a day and they're not going to clump. I put two on. Let's put another one on. Just for craps and giggles. And see. Um, yeah, I'm not getting clumping, but I do have a couple that are sticking together. Like right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I like this eye better than this eye, but I still don't have that... Like I get with my by Terry. My by Terry is my favorite one. And I like the push up lashes. But I, I'm having a lot of wetness up here. But it wipes away. I, I even have it on my fingers. Because it was just a mess. But I did. I wanted to show you that. And the only thing I have on. For, I don't think I have my eyes. I have liner from ColourPop. The Raw Beauty Christie. And there is a video coming of the Raw Beauty, Raw Beauty Christie ColourPop collaboration. I just haven't got it edited yet. Because my computer is a little bit of, little bit of pain. It will literally like I'll start editing and then two minutes later my program will shut off two minutes later my program will shut off two minutes later my pro and it takes forever just to, to edit a video I was supposed to get a, a new uh, computer for Christmas but it just didn't work out we just didn't have the funds to do it because computers are expensive and we were going to have um, someone build me one for what I need and we just didn't get a chance to do that so I'm still having that editing pro problem so it, it's gonna be a while so I haven't done that one yet but we were talking about the Chasing Unicorns. If you're not familiar with the Chasing Unicorns, um, I always have a cheat sheet because the boxes I get are also different. So I always have to write it down. 
Um, it's similar to my Flying With Air. So if you saw my Flying With Air, you kind of get an idea what this box is. And I also have um, a battle of the boxes that I did with this box compared to my Flying With Air a few months ago. And there's also a playlist on here um, with the Chasing Unicorn Switch. I'm going to tag that up here for you if you want to watch it now or if you just want to go back and look through my playlists. And you kind of have to search in the playlist. Like, you have to scan down through it because some people see them on the app and some don't. But you have to find it. But the Flying With, I mean, the Chasing Unicorns, um, they are crystal infused boxes. However, I thought when I joined, mm, I can't remember how many months ago, I thought we were always going to get a crystal, but you don't. You only get them every so often. Um, I do know what's in the box because from now on, I'm going to start opening my boxes ahead of time just to kind of save some time. Um, that way I can kind of let you guys know what's in the box because I know before it would like be like, me not knowing what's in the box and it takes a little longer sometimes to go through but now i can kind of tell you ahead of time okay this is in the box this is not in the box we do not have a crystal in the box however there's a soap in this box that once you use the soap you get down into it then there's a crystal inside the soap the soap that's in here i will not be keeping um because it's charcoal and i cannot use charcoal on my body anywhere i get major breakouts from charcoal so that i'll be putting in a giveaway if you're not familiar with my giveaways my giveaways run here every month once a month and they also run on instagram once a month this year i'm doing my giveaways completely different just because i do a giveaway does not mean that everything that i have on my youtube videos are going to be in my youtube channel giveaways they may go into my instagram giveaways i do them once a month at the end of the month here but on instagram they run from the 15th to the 30th so you never know if the items i'm showing you are going to be on instagram or whether they're going to be here on the 15th i do show you what it's going to be in that giveaway so the boxes i get from the beginning of the month which this is actually december so i'm just now showing i got it late so the things that I have in the boxes from the first of the month to the 15th could possibly be in the Instagram. And I also like to sneak things in as a surprise in my giveaway boxes. So you just don't know when I'm going to be tossing in boxes, just to kind of let you know. I'm also going to be doing my giveaways different. Um, I usually like throw in keywords or I throw in surprises to let you know different things that I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be doing things a little differently, um, which I will talk about in my year um your video like this is what's going to happen with my channel this year so be sure you look out for that video but the things i'm going to be talk talking about that i'm going to be giving away um there's a masking powder in here that i'm going to be giving away um let's just say a majority of this box is going to be given away saying that i have decided with this box i am putting this box on pause because i do not like this box I'm telling you right up front usually i like their boxes but I'm just not happy with this box. There was a huge controversy with this box this month, and I will talk about that. But to let you know, it is a lifestyle box. It is certified organic, paraben, and phthalate free. It also is vegan. It is free U.S. shipping. And if you subscribe to their box, instead of, you can do a one-time box, but if you do subscribe to their box, you do get 10% off. Also, I am an affiliate with them, meaning if you do use my link to subscribe to their box, I do make a small commission off of that. I do have to let you know that up front, so just to let you know that. Um, it's called a ritual box and it is $39.78 and you do get five to seven items and it is based on the zodiac sign. Um, and they say there was like supposed to be a $770 value, but it's not. I have not had $170 value. The value of the boxes are usually like right around $120 some dollars, I think. Um, but they do base it on the zodiac sign, which I think that part's pretty cool. Um, this one is the Capricorn season and this is what the card looks like right here. Um, and I'll read this to you. It says the spiritual symbol for Capricorn is a unicorn. Use this image, use this and imagine yourself as a Capricorn. Let me put that all as one word. Anyway, climbing a mountain while expanding to a higher consciousness, bring more play into your life. Stop being so mature for your age and serious all the time. Capricorns. We believe this month's ritual should be fun for mandatory for a season that sometimes can be stressful as Capricorns tend to strive for perfection and success in all things. Let your hair down, relax. 2020 is over the 10th and last year for last year of a decade 2021 is actually a very beginning of a brand new decade and major shift in consciousness so take this time to pat yourself on the box we made it now there was a huge controversy on this oil that's in here and i'm gonna go ahead and show it to you and i have smelled it and to me it smells like vicks vapor rub so this is called the third eye chakra it's a tame blue tansy um casablanca ritual blend okay so our boxes were going to be late and they there's a um a facebook group you can join for 
once you once you sign up for the box, you have to sign up for the box. Last year, you were able to go in and shop on their website and you were able to get items if you were not subscribed to the box. At the end of the year, they put a notice out that you had to be a member with the Ritual Box in order to shop anything on their website. They changed that. And you also can join what's called the Unicorn Club to where you can purchase items after it's been in the box um, and after it's already been released from the box. Sometimes they have leftovers or sometimes they have like what's called refills. Like if you want, like after the your, your bottles are empty or soaps, like if your soaps are done, you can actually get refills for those items. It's only certain things. It's not everything you get in your boxes. It's just certain things. Um, and you're able to do that at a cheaper price. But like I said, it's not everything that's in your box. Like you might not be able to get this oil, but you might be able to at a different price. Um, this oil is actually worth $42. It's an expensive oil. They sent us a, a message because my box actually got shipped out earlier in the month and it's set in California. They are in California and there's been shutdowns in California and they actually had some employees out with COVID, I think. So they had to wait to ship boxes out. They sat in California for a while. They were waiting to ship them out and also California had shut down. So things took a while to actually leave the warehouse. They put a notice out that the boxes were going to be delayed due to the COVID restrictions and things like that. Then they said everybody was getting this oil. No fear, things were coming. Then about a week or so ago, they put another message out that there was a problem with the shipment of the blue tansy oil, that all the oils were in a box that got damaged and every bottle of oil was busted, that they would be sending out a different oil in place of this oil. Well, people were pretty miffed about that because first they sent out a message that everybody would be getting the oil, no problem at all, that it was just a shipment issue with, with the box. And then all of a sudden now all the oil has been broken. People were a little miffed about it. They were canceling the boxes and yada, yada, yada. Well, I get my box three or four days after that with the oil in it. So I don't know what happened with it. People that actually did get the boxes were complaining about the smell of the oil. Some people said it had a really sweet, really sweet, weird smell. Mine smells like Vicks Vapor Rub. I don't know what blue tansy is supposed to smell like, but it smells like Vicks Vapor Rub. So if you guys out there know what blue tansy is supposed to smell like, if you could comment below and let me know, because I have no clue and I don't really know, but it says it's a brand new signature creation made with ultra hydrating oils for extreme moisture, multifunctional, apply after a shower, bath, ends of hair, cuticles, lashes, or add to bath water. Now I'm not going to put this on my lashes because if it smells like that, it's going to burn. I just don't trust it. Now on my body, yes, because I could put it on my chest and maybe it could open um, like if you have clogged airways or whatever. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to give it a try. Um, it says it's got safflower oil. It's got apricot oil. It's got olive oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, um, vitamin E oil, dry floors, and blue tansy, whatever blue tansy is. I didn't look it up to see, to be honest with you. It's been sitting here for about four days, I think. It came at the end of last week and today is Tuesday, but I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna kind of wait. I mean, it's pretty, but there was a huge controversy about that. But then once I saw this box, I've been trying to get um, down some boxes and I'm also an affiliate now with Crate Joy. So if you guys, um, I'm hopefully gonna have the link in this video. I just became an affiliate with them. So hopefully I'll have the link down there below, but if you sign up through any boxes with Crate Joy. If you use that link, I do make a small commission off that. So I do want to let you know that as well. Um, but you know, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on anything, no matter what, as I'm, as I'm doing with this one. So I don't know if this is one of their boxes. I can't remember. I know um, some other boxes I used to have um, were actually on there. Like the Paradise Deliver is actually one of the boxes. I used to have that box and that was in there. Um, but this one, there were some other boxes in there I was looking at and I'm like, Oh, I'd like to try that, but I'm trying to decrease some of the boxes. Um, and this is one box that I decided just to kind of put on, on pause, just to kind of see what happens with them. Cause I just don't, I don't know. I really don't because this box is just not, not impressing me. And they were impressing me up until this box. And like I was talking about the Indian clay mask powder, this is it right here. Um, there goes okay and it says this is 20 31 dollars a detoxifying face mask that draws that draws out impurities and shrinks pores you mix it with alkaline water or apple cider vinegar and apply over the face using a face brush leave on for 10 to 20 minutes and this is the face brush that comes with it and they say this is worth 14 dollars 
No, I don't. It should, I mean, it's their brand of face brush. I'm going to put this in with it because I don't need it. But it's clay. I can't use it. This is in a giveaway. And I have a giveaway box right here. I'm just going to put a bag in here. And like I said, I don't know what, what giveaway this would be in. But I'm not going to use either one of them. And the next thing is the the, 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 bot, the charcoal soap I was telling you about. It's activated charcoal. And it's a face cleansing crystal soap. So they're going to charge $18 for it. Because it has a crystal in it. It's charcoal soap. You know what I'm saying? And it says a hidden crystal. Doesn't tell you what it is. But there's a crystal inside this. It's in a giveaway. And... There's only two more things in this box. So to me, the box is a bust. It really is. Um, the other thing, it's a lavender essential roller, which I've been getting in a lot of boxes lately. But there is one thing in here I think is pretty cool. So I am going to keep it because I think it's really cool. Um, it's peppermint essential oil, even though it says lavender. It's a lavender and peppermint. So if you read right here, it says lavender essential oil. But then if you read a little lower... It says lavender and peppermint. So if you're just reading the top of it and you're thinking, okay, it's a lavender essential oil, right? No, it's lavender and peppermint. But look, I think that is so cool. It has little crystals in there. So that's another place you're getting crystals at. But I think it's really cool. And it smells like a perfect blend. More to the lavender side of it, but I love this kind of stuff. And I like to put it like, I'm not going to do it now, I'll go to sleep. Well, probably not because I have insomnia, but I like the fact that they put that in there. The value of that $16, uh, but it says you need to pick me up or relaxing. Well, you kind of have, the only thing I don't like about this is lavender is supposed to be relaxing and peppermint is supposed to pick you up, but they combine them together. So that's kind of like, that's kind of like an oxymoron, you know, because if it's supposed to pick you up, it's supposed to relax you, how's supposed to do both? So I'm putting it on my wrist and we're going to see what it does. No, I'm like, I'm only kidding. I'm goofy. But anyway, um, the box value, I think it's like a hundred and some dollars, um, 122 or something. I didn't, I didn't add it up. I'll put it, I'll put it on the screen. I'm not going to waste time to do it right here. And the last thing they gave us is a pair of holiday socks for $16 and they are cute and I love cute socks and they're not, you know, short ones. They're like medium ones. They don't have a smell that much. Sometimes they can smell really weird, but they don't, but they're really cute and they're pink. And I do my breast cancer pink. Um, so I will keep these because I love cute socks. They're really soft. And they have the thing across the toe instead of... I hate it when they're like up at the tip of the toe. I hate any socks that go at the tip of the toe. I can't stand that feeling. So I will keep these. They're really cute and they're really soft. So I'm going to throw them in my wash because you're not going to wash everything I do. But I will definitely keep that. But this month I think is not a good month. Some people will like it because they love clay masks and they love clay soaps. Um, charcoal, charcoal soaps, clay masks. I just can't use that. I did try a clay mask the other day, um, from Peter Thomas Roth and it's great. I have one little breakout up here, which could be just be me because I've been eating a lot of junk food, but it did not activate any kind of milia. And somebody had asked me in a comment on one of my videos and I can't find that comment. I think I answered part of the comment and forgot about that. And I have to go back and look through my comments. So in case I haven't answered you yet, milia. Milia are little tiny hard spots on the face. And what it is, it's trapped oils, like trapped keratin, trapped other oils. They look like pimples, but they're not. And the bad thing I found out was you can't pop them. They're hard. Um, and I have them, you probably can't see them because I don't have any foundation on. I actually have my BB cream with Dr. Jart because I love Dr. Jart. But this is what I have on my face today. It looks gray when it comes out, but it, obviously it's not. But I have them yeah, you can't see them with that covered up. Um, but I have one like right here in the corner. Okay, this will give you an example. This one here has never gone away. Uh, hopefully you can see it. But it's right... It's right here in the corner. I don't know if it's coming or not. I don't have any makeup there. But it's right here in the corner of my eye. And I don't know whether it's coming across. It's right... It's right here in the corner. That is Amelia. And I have them... Um, I have another one... No, you're not going to be able to see it. I have another one, like, right here. And have them, like, across. Um, I have one right here that looks like a pimple, but it's not. And I have them, like, across here. And I get them basically, like, around here. And I get them, like, up, down, and around here. Um, some people get them really, really bad. They look like little skin tags. Um, I know Raw Beauty Christy has them. She gets them really, really bad. And I get them, like, around here. Um, and where else do I get them? Um, 
sometimes like in here and certain skincare ingredients will cause that to fill like avocado oil will fill my milia and they'll just like pop out really bad and so far that did not do that a lot of things will irritate my skin and cause that to happen and that's what milia are it just gets trapped in your skin and usually the only way out retinol will help that um so for some reason retinol will help um deplete that it will help bring the oils out and that causes that to help um with the milia a lot um, a good facial exfoliation if you do exfoliation like once a week that also brings them out because you have to like break that skin without but you can't pop them I tried and I got a scar on my face from doing it you just I thought you know, what is that hard rock on my skin and I found out they're milia and you have to sometimes if that doesn't work you have to go to the dermatologist and they have to extract them out so that's what milia are anyway that is it that's all I have for you overall I think the box is is not good for me this month it might be good for someone else but it's not good for me I'm giving away half of what I got but I'm going to try these two and of course my socks so I mean it's not like a total horrible absolutely disgusting box it's just something I don't like it definitely is not my flying with air box if I had to put them side by side the flying air would win 100% um, I was going to cancel the box completely but I decided to put it on pause um, January is supposed to be a good box, but I'm not getting this. I'm not getting this month. So you will not see it um, later in the month. You will not see another box from them. February is, we'll see the spoilers. And if it does not look like a good box, we'll cancel it completely just to let you know. Anyway, guys, I love you so, so much. Thank you for joining me here today. If you have not already, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and the bell notification so you'll know when I'm here again. Um, there's going to be some changes in my channel just to let you know the upload schedules are going to be changing um, and some other things. So look for that video and I have a huge haul video I'm going to be filming. You'll see this a couple times. I'm trying to do things a little different. My brain has not been functioning very well. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for being here. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Be good to each other and be good to yourself because if you can't be good to yourself, you can't be good to anyone else. You guys come back and see me again. Bye, guys.